Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm working on batteries again. All right, now I'm working on batteries. I might be working on something else in a little while. Um, on the table I have my battery charger and I'm still working on uh, charging up all the batteries and figuring out which batteries have what capacity on them. So let's go to the table. Here is the battery charger and I have just, I've just discharged the battery over here. Actually this one, the red one. 1501 milliamp hours on that one and I was gonna start on the next one and I thought well someone suggested that I should uh, calibrate this device and well I tried this earlier today and I actually did a video and I just scrapped that video because it did not work so I'm gonna show you what happens and maybe someone out there knows how to do this so to um, calibrate this I I've put my multimeter over one of these cells, this one, and it says that there is 3.846 volts. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna charge this battery. Back on. Charge, and we're gonna charge it with one end, that's fine. And it's gonna check the battery, and we will start charging. And now we can see that this is four volts, and this is 4.01 volt. So there's a difference of rather a lot. So that's was why I would really like to calibrate this. But let's just see what happens. We're just gonna cancel that. Go out. Oh, sorry. And I'm gonna detach this. Plug off power. And I've been online and I've checked and what you should do is to press this decrease and start while you plug this in. So I'm gonna press those and plug in power. And on everybody else's device, they get into a special menu. I don't, I'm just gonna try that again. I have tried this a dozen times, so press those two. Power it on, hold them down, keep holding them down. This should take five seconds and then you get into a menu where you can decrease and increase and stuff like that. It doesn't work on my device. It's This is a cheap Chinese ripoff, but uh, everybody else is able to calibrate their cheap Chinese ripoffs. Not mine. If anybody knows how to do that, please tell me. I'm gonna start charging this one. Oh, there. Charge with one amp. Checking. And it's charging. Over here, I am charging two of the batteries. They have been on there quite a while. I'm not sure if this charger is happy with two different batteries, but well, it's, it's trying. Here is the battery strip project. And I've been making a small circuit boards. It's just a piece of PCB cut in the right angles and stuff. And that goes down here and between all the batteries. I really need something to put on the PCB for them to get a good connection to the batteries. It's not good. I need something to solder on the PCB to do that. Something that I can put on the middle here, a springy thing or something like that. So that, um, and I need to find something here at the ends. Otherwise, this is pretty smart. I have a little PCB and I can put a connector on it. If I take the connector off, um, this is a bad example, it, it's bent. Let's, let's take another one. Well, it's double-sided PCB, so there is like copper on both sides. If I take the connector off, there is nothing that uh, connects to two layers of copper, so now it's separated. As soon as I put on the connector, like that, the connector short circuits those two layers of copper, and um, there is connection. Right now the connection is really bad because I don't have anything to put down between. I have been tightening them up and these ultra fire they are a bit longer than some of the other batteries so I get a good connection on the ultra fire which is the really bad batteries they only do 
about 500 and something milliamp hours and just these batteries that are they're not very good either but they're double as good as the ultra fire these are the chinese ripoff ones that i bought i paid what did i pay 14 dollars for 14 of these mm, that was 14 dollars not very well spent that's a piece of junk but um well this is a power strip how i'm thinking about it and there is 13 cells on that so from one end to the other end i should be able to have 48 volts and most of these cells if i if i look at the batteries a cell like this six cells in here and they brag somewhere they brag about 56 watt hour 56 watt hours divided by six hmm, that's almost 10 10 watts per cell so with 26 uh, cells in in a bank like this it should be all about 250 watts just just short of 250 watts uh, that's not with these junk batteries in it that would be with better quality batteries not this ultra fire shit and i just got a lot of batteries i won an auction this is an auction locally here in denmark and the auction is really for it's called lawitz.com and the auction house is really for nice furniture, lamps and overclassed, overpriced stuff. But one of my colleagues discovered that, oh, there's a lot of batteries for laptops for sale. Probably someone had been thinking they could get a lot of money for this. But um, well, nobody had given a bid on it. So I bid the minimum. Uh, that was 300 Danish crowns. And I got it. Then there was 60 crowners for something and 95 other crowners for something else. And then I had to pay 285 crowners for uh, getting this transported from Copenhagen to, to where I live. So it ended up yeah, something like uh, $100. But well, it's not that bad. I have been looking at the batteries and calculating and there is something like 358 cells like 358 of these in here plus i'm just gonna put that back plus these mm, they are uh they're probably the flat ones they're probably more like these i probably get some of those too um don't know how many but it's really a funny battery. It's flat in the middle and there's something on both sides. It's a Dell. I'm gonna be taking those apart as well. So more batteries to come. And also um, I have some from last week. I had a colleague that had these laying at home. So I got those four pieces. I think there are six cells in these. There's nine cells in this one. And probably six cells in this one as well. So that's a nice, nice little collection of cells. So why am I putting in plugs here? Well, really it's to be able to put on this BMS. This is a balancer for, for 13 cells like I have here. And you connect your 48 volts to this dude and it makes sure that the 48 volts is getting out to the batteries. This little device can do 25 amps. So I will be able to put more, more cells in parallel. So I'll have more than one of these, probably three or four or five of these strings on one of these little cute thingies. That's the idea of that. Right now, my problem is that, well, the, the batteries are tight in here, so they don't really want to move. So I really want this one to make sure that the connection is good on the battery. Some of them are in there a bit tighter, but some is quite loose. Need every one of them to make a good connection. So the, the power string project is coming along, but there are some minor uh, small difficulties in getting a good connection to all the batteries. That is really what is keeping me up at night right now. The batteries are good, except the ultra fire Chinese junk. But I got a lot of good cells from the laptops. These are about something like 1.5 amp hours of battery each. So that's pretty cool. 10 watts, almost 10 watts per cell. Something like nine and a half maybe. 
thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel and visit me over at google plus where i just posted a picture about all the batteries that i just got and i already got some response thank you dustin yeah have a really nice day bye bye